What's up guys, my name is Nick McHenry and today I'm going over what does COGS stand for and how do you calculate it in retail. Just think one, two, three, ah! What's up everybody, my name is Nick and today I'm covering a super basic topic, although super important topic, and that is what is COGS and how do you use it in fashion retail? So what does COGS stand for? COGS stands for cost of goods sold. It's basically just the price of the goods, whether it's the shirt or the jeans or whatever that you're selling to the retailer or that the retailer is buying it at. So for example, if I'm selling a t-shirt and I'm selling it at $10 per piece, that is the cost of goods sold for one t-shirt. And then to get your total cost of goods sold for the order, or if you're the buyer for the retail store, what does that cost me? It's just adding in the amount of units times the price of that, and that is your total cost of goods sold. Before we go any further, one quick thing that I didn't realize the first time filming the video is I gotta clarify, when you're talking of cost of goods sold, you're only talking about, as the name says, the goods that were actually sold to the end customer. I know that doesn't mean much to you in this context, but when you apply it to retail accounting and retail math, whether it's gross margin, gross profit, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, the cost of goods sold number there makes a big difference. It actually drives the entire equation. So it's only calculated off of the goods that are sold. So using the prior example, if you bought, say, 10 t-shirts at $10 a piece, the total PO order, purchase order, would equate to $100, 10 times 10, right, $100. That is not your cost of goods sold. That's your just cost of goods that you purchased as a retailer. The cost of goods sold would be the cost equated to the units that you had sold. So if you sold two of those 10 shirts at $10 per piece, your cost of goods sold would actually only be $20. So $20 as opposed to $100. With that being said, let's get back to the video. So why does it matter? Cost of goods sold will drive all of your other calculations, especially gross margin. I'll link up to the video right here that you can check out as well. And it will impact the conversations for how you're selling, how profitable your business is, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that's it for today, guys. It's a super easy concept, but if you have any questions at all, drop it in the comments below. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. We cover fashion, business, retail advice, and learnings discussions almost daily. So please hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.